Okay, class, we're just waiting on a couple of people and then we're gonna start, okay? In the meantime, I'll start sharing the screen and then I'll also share the presentation um, on the chat so everybody has access to it as well. Okay, perfect. It looks like we have everybody here. So we're gonna go ahead and start the presentation. All right, so today we're gonna talk about the history of reggaeton. It's an introduction um, to the origins and the influences of reggaeton. So before we begin, um, I would like to know on a scale of one to nine, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling a number nine where you're happy? Are you feeling a number seven, like something exciting or something surprising happened? A six, feel like you got a sneeze. <laughs> so uh, before you submit it on the chat, uh, I would like it to be a waterfall. So just write it in. I'm gonna give you a couple seconds more. And then um, when I say enter, you're all gonna submit it at the same time. Just a couple more seconds. All right, go ahead, submit. Okay, I see a couple of five. One, one. <laughs> and okay, I see quite a few nines. I think I'm right there with you guys. I'm feeling a nine myself. So yes, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. Um, so we're gonna talk about today's objectives. Um, so for today's objectives, you guys will be able to break down the word reggaeton. And you'll be able to explain the suffix of the word. You will also be able to identify the ways in which reggaeton is unique and then describe the characteristics. You'll also be able to identify the instruments in the reggaeton music. Now, these are the content standards. You guys don't need to really, you know, spend too much time on this, and I won't either. Um, this just explains that these are the world language content standards I'm going to be targeting in this lesson. And then these are also the music standards that I'm also going to be targeting in the lesson. Um, next is going to be the English language development standards. So let's go ahead and move forward with the agenda. So we're going to start with the essential question. From there, we're going to go to what do you know about reggaeton? What is your prior knowledge? Then we're going to move over to vocabulary words. Thereafter, we're going to go to the close reading activity. We're going to do a pair, think, share, close reading question. And we're gonna do a bubble map activity. And then at the very end, we're gonna have an exit ticket, okay? So let's move on to my favorite character from the office, Michael Scott, what essential question? So the essential question that you will be able to answer at the end of the lesson is what influenced the creation of reggaeton? So this is just something that you can keep in the back of your mind. You know, piensa un poquito sobre esta pregunta and kind of go from there. So what do you already know? Let's talk about this. So about Latin American music, what comes to your mind? What do you know about Latin American music? You can either unmute yourself and jump in or you can put it in the chat. Completely up to you guys. Okay, Tony, yes, Latin American music, um, a lot of hip movement, it's very true. Okay, so what about instruments? What musical instruments do you think are usually used with Latin American music? Abby, you said a Congo, that's a great, that's a great response, yes, yeah, a Congo. Okay, a guido? Great, I am surprised. That's amazing. I'm so happy that you guys know this information. Guitars, yes, they do use guitars in some Latin American songs, yes. Perfect. 
All right. So what about any Latin American singers that you guys can think of? Shakira? Yes. Perfect. Great example. What else? Can you guys think of anybody else? Bad Bunny. That is very popular and it is a perfect time to share it. Yes, Bad Bunny. It is also reggaeton. So we're going to be learning about all of that. So let's move on to the next slide. Now we're going to learn about the word reggaeton. So the name reggaeton is a combination of two words, of a, of a word reggae, right? So you got reggae and then the suffix ton. And then in Spanish, that is to show something that's bigger or greater. So the way I like to think of um, those words, when you got your base word, your prefix and your suffix, suffix, I'm sorry, you have a pencil. And so your prefix is at the very end where the um, at the very end of the pencil, and then you have your base word, and then you have your eraser, which is your suffix. So anytime you're trying to really think of like how the order of the word is, just think of a pencil, and hopefully that will help you guys in the future. All right, so now we're going to go over the vocabulary words. So in our vocabulary words, we have dance hall, which is a style of reggae music that incorporates hip hop, rhythm, and blues elements. So as you can see here in this picture, um, then we have Despacito. Despacito is the first reggaeton song by Luis Fonsi, which is right here, and Daddy Yankee, featuring Daddy Yankee, that became the best selling Latin single in US history. Very interesting, right? Then we also have Dembao. Dembao is a musical rhythm that originated in Jamaica. And I have a, an example of the sound Dembao so you guys can better understand it. And I will play it as soon as I'm done with the vocabulary words. Then we also have timbales and that's kettle drums. And that's basically, it's identified as a Cuban instrument that consists of a pair of single head shallow drums as you can see on the right here so single head shallow drums and it's tuned to different pitches and performed with two sticks so it's like the drum so let's now listen to the rhythm of them bow I'm going to stop the share just to make sure you guys are able to hear the sound. Okay, there we go. So that is an example of the dembao rhythm. And if you really pay attention to that sound, and if you listen to reggaeton or you begin to listen to it after this lesson, you're gonna notice that a lot of their songs has the dembao in it. Um, so let's move on to the next, uh, the next slide. Continue the presentation. All right, so now we're gonna move to our close reading assignment um, our activity. So we will first read together as a class, then you will reread it with your partner. And within your partner, you're gonna answer your assigned questions on Jamboard. And let's go ahead and share. So you, I emailed you guys a copy of this PDF file to make sure you have it on hand before in case you want to print it out, um, but I will also have it on the screen. And then we can go ahead and read it together. You can read it with your partner and go from there. So let me go ahead and share that now. All right. Okay. So, reggaeton. 
Reggaeton is a popular style of Latin urban music that originated in Puerto Rico during the early 1900s. It was influenced by dancehall music and American hip hop, as well as other Caribbean music. This type of music featured both rapping and singing in Spanish and featured a special dembow rhythm. That's what we just listened to earlier. And that dembow rhythm first produced in Jamaica in the 1970s. The name reggaeton is a combination of the word reggae and the suffix ton, what we just discussed, which is something to show bigger or greater. Reggaeton first began in the poor neighborhoods of San Juan, Puerto Rico, and originally featured lyrics about the challenges facing young people in that area. It was an underground music that was often recorded in carports known as Marquesina, and then distributed informally in the streets by way of cassette tapes. If you guys don't know what cassette tapes are or look like, Google it. You will be surprised. <laughs> okay, so many of these carports were located in social housing complexes, but the cassettes were still a good enough quality that within a short time, young people of all social classes became fans. Reggaeton in its associated hip hop style of baggy clothing was banned in Puerto Rican schools in the mid to late 1900s and its distribution was often suppressed by the police. However, this new music style began to become more and more popular and it was eventually used in election campaigns by politicians to appeal to younger, younger voters by the early 2000s. One of the earliest reggaeton acts named Daddy Yankee even appeared in a 2006 Pepsi commercial in the same year. Don Omar's tune, King of Kings, was one of the higher ranked Latin albums of its day. So I'm gonna let you guys finish this as a group and then we're gonna move on to our question. Okay, so we're going to our Jamboard. The link is on the presentation. And so as you were placed in your group, in your breakout rooms, you most of you guys have already answered the questions. Actually, all of you guys did. You guys did a great job. Perfect. Okay, so let's go over them. So the first question is, what three types of music had an influence on reggaeton? Group number one put dance hall, hip hop, and reggae. That is, that is a great answer, you guys. Great job. Okay, so where is dance hall music popular? Go ahead and tell me group number two. Yes, it is popular in the Caribbean, Jamaica. Perfect. In which country did reggaeton start? Puerto Rico. Perfect, you guys did great on these. And then in what decade did reggaeton begin? In the early 1990s. And then how was this music originally distributed? It was distributed through tape. Yes, cassette tape. So how did the schools initially react to this new music? They banned it. How many of you guys, by show of hands, were you guys surprised that the schools banned the music? Let me see your show of hands. Majority of you, yes. Yeah, I know, I'm right there with you guys. Um, but it, it was interesting that the politicians started to use it to appeal to the young audience. I mean, they're using it because they know that's what they like, right? So, okay, let's move on to the next activity. So next we have our graphic organizer. I see that group number one already decided to work ahead and typed in fused. Okay, that's a good word. So the following groups, please go ahead and um, put in the words that are related to reggaeton and that correlate with that. So that way we're able to add a little bit more. 
Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's move on to our very last slide. Let me go ahead and press present, and then we're going to go back to Jamboard. So we're going a little bit back and forth here. Oops. There we go. All right, so graphic organizer is completed. Perfect. Good job, everyone. And celebration time. All right, so as your exit ticket, um, on Jamboard, there is on the last number four, page number four, you're going to see on there it's how does listening to reggaeton music make you feel? So you can use images to describe how you make it feel. You can also write. Um, so we'll jump on Jamboard and see how the music makes you feel. Um, and let's go back and share Jamboard. All right. Perfect, so most of you guys have already put in how you feel. Um, so as you can see my example, I put a happy dog. <laughs> I love this kid. Okay, perfect. So, oh, one of you guys, it makes you feel like you wanna dance. Perfect, great. So this is all perfect, it sounds great. If you guys want to um, have any additional questions, as always, um, raise your hand or you can email me privately completely up to you guys, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Um, if you have any further questions or clarifications, I did share um, the uh, PowerPoint presentation with everybody. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention is that in slide number 10, um, right where I had selected the link for the Dembao rhythm, on top of it, it says the roots of reggaeton. So for the roots of reggaeton, if you guys are interested in watching this video, it is about maybe an hour and a half long, but um, it gives you more of an extensive detail of how the roots of reggaeton, like how reggaeton is started. Um, so definitely recommend it. It's not homework or anything. We don't have any homework today, um, but if you guys want to learn more, I would, def I would suggest this video. So we are all done for today. Thank you guys so much for being so active and engaging. Um, you guys were amazing. You did everything perfectly fine. Um, if you guys have any questions again, feel free to email me or I can stay on after class. All right, thank you everyone. Take care.